Good morning. Last Sunday, I invited you to join me in a hunt for circles. As I looked for circles, I not only saw God's creation in a new way, but I was slow enough to smell God's flowers and quiet enough to hear God's birds and bugs. I found circles in my food and tasted God's goodness. And I felt God's peace because I set aside this special time. Thank you for joining me in the quest. Look at the photos of circles found at church. In the garden. In your homes. and on the road. Are you ready for a second challenge? Have you ever heard of a mandala? A mandala is a circular design that radiates outward from a center point. Have you noticed the mandalas in the sanctuary windows? Helen colors mandalas to relax. Dottie's garden is decorated with mandala designs. And Sharon walks a labyrinth to meditate and pray. Look at some mandalas found in God's creation. Apples, cucumbers, dogwood flowers, tulips, sand dollars, sea stars. Last week, I met Bonnie Edwards at an Eastern APSI virtual conference that I was able to attend. Bonnie made mandalas out of amazing materials, and she did this for 99 days in a row to bring some order to the mixed up days of this pandemic. Bonnie committed time each day to quiet herself to pay attention to a God laid out for supplies, to create something beautiful. Bonnie spent time with God as she made her mandalas and she shared her creations with her friends. Here, a stump was the center of mandalas over the course of four seasons. And check out this mandala made inside the house. The rocks in the center were found on hikes and those are Bonnie's shoes. See the map as the background? And look at this mandala made with coffee beans and favorite mugs. Will you make a mandala this week to share? Here's mine. I have been spending a lot of time crocheting. This week, please join me by expanding on our search for circles. Take some time, create a mandala, and take a picture to send to me at jlangmoys at covenantfraser.org so I can share back these photos with the Covenant family. I pray that you find God, our creator, in this time of deliberate quiet, searching, and your own creation.